October 26, 1881 would be a day no one in Tombstone would ever forget. It'd be a pleasure taking your money. Well, gentlemen, I believe I will fool. But it started like any other, with some whiskey fuel brawling over cards. Thanks. Call. Let's see him. Freedom and weep, Dr. Holiday. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, cowboy! You ain't healed! Go heal yourself! Get away from me! Go heal yourself! That's my friend Doc in his natural habitat. A man who feels that he has nothing to lose is just the kind of man that you'd want to have on your side in a bar fight. That's Doc Holliday. <clears throat> Doc Holliday is an interesting cat because he's dying from tuberculosis, launches himself west so that he won't burden his family back in Georgia, and he basically walks into every saloon and says, kill me. Now, you don't want to fight a guy that has that attitude. Doc is loud, brash, and belligerent, no question. But he's also highly educated, a dentist by trade, and a loyal friend. We met in Dodge City back in 76. And when I came to Tombstone, I invited him to join me. Settle down. Bitch! Settle down. Bitch. Some say we've jeopardized our own reputations by associating with Holiday, who seems to have a knack for making enemies. But I owe him far more than friendship. There came a point when Wyatt says that Doc Holliday saved his life. I was working the beat one night in Dodge City when some drunken cowboys got the drop on me. Go somewhere with that? The only way anyone could appreciate the feeling I have for Doc Look out, boy. would be if they stood in my boots when he came through that doorway. Wyatt Earp gave Doc credit for saving his life, and it would become a major bond in their lives. One of the great friendships, no doubt about it. They were who they were, and it was very hard for them to find people who could accept them. So to have someone that you didn't even question as to whether or not they'd be there for you in a time of real need, and those were times of real need, was probably some of the greatest things in their life. 